Hello everybody, at least I'm the Charling speaking. At least, at least having flu and at least not is falling down. Mathematics 2015 SPM. No, it's the other way around. 2000. You know that feeling when you almost sneeze but the sneeze is just not coming out? Girl, that's how you feel when you take weed. <laughs> SPM 2015 Mathematics Auntie don't understand this one thing Who on earth has the time to roll a dice for 10,000 times? <laughs> but besides the Prime Minister Auntie don't think Auntie knows Anybody else who knows how to throw a dice 10,000 times We are very busy trying to help people in this country So whoever it is that is trying to throw a dice 10,000 times Please go get a life Now next, Auntie need to know since where Pierre K. Ang of flying foxes Auntie know they all of flying rapists, of flying bullies, of flying sexist, racist and all that But since when of flying foxes, Auntie need to know If you're talking about guys flying foxes, then maybe it makes sense, yeah? But if you're talking about flying foxes in the sense where it means flying foxes Like literally animals that are foxes that are flying foxes Then no, Auntie has never seen flying foxes so please, stop talking nonsense. Next, Auntie is also made to understand that is Daniel and Chong are having problem working together. So now, there are two probabilities. Two times two, four. So we make it to four probabilities. Number one, either Daniel or Chong is racist. Number two, either Daniel and Chong are together actually gay people, homosexual people. But because the manager or the people responsible for whatever are in a religion which is against homosexual, so maybe that's why they cannot work together. Number three, the higher authorities of the particular campaign or whatever that they are from might have caused a racial problem that has divided the Malay and the Chinese people. Auntie don't know for a matter of fact if Daniel is actually a Malay or just a Christian with a very Malay name. Auntie don't even know if Daniel is a Malay name because Daniel can actually be an English name also. But in this phrase of context, Auntie think Daniel and Chong are both individuals of different races. Which in the end does not contradict from Auntie's probabilities. Number four. The fourth probability is that Daniel and Chong are liking the same girl. Only one can have them in the end. So they don't like each other because each other is liking the each other's crush. But in the end, Auntie still think that, you know, they are actually maybe homosexuals but then it's just that they are a group of uh, people inside that can both whatever place they are in that does not practice homosexual beliefs or are against homosexual beliefs basically homophobics which are the cause of the separation between Chong and Daniel which should not happen because this world should have unity whether you're homosexual whether you're bisexual you're sapiosexual you're demisexual you're straight black, white, skinny, fat whatever if you are racist or homophobic or judgmental go get a life and hang yourself and just go suicide suicide is not a good term because suicide is normally for innocent people who cannot tahan in life when it comes to people who are racist homophobics, sexist and all that you should not consider yourself suicide Just consider yourself committing a murder towards yourself Because you're a sinful person Auntie is on the verge of breaking hell open But Auntie is just going to maintain Auntie's composure Because we have a few more papers to go through before we end this misery But Auntie need to know Last year you asked about jackfruit and duyan and what not And this year you asked about apple and orange What are your problems? Auntie actually realized that in one of Machi Roseman's video When she had the coconut and she actually said that it was coconut food There was actually one comment saying that <laughs> Machi, Machi is making fun of women around the country Because of the coconuts like Girl, first of all, you need to understand that coconuts are big and we are Asian. We don't have something that big. Okay, so... You're wrong! <laughs> Second of all, if you need to get mad with someone, then you need to get mad with the Ministry of Education. Because they are speaking facts. Apple and orange, that's what we Asians have. They are actually talking about the size of our medulla oblongata. First of all, what you need to know is what apple does not cost 2 ringgit. Which country you're from that sells apple 2 ringgit. I think you need to also have a personal moment with Suraya. Come, Suraya. 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 <laughs> that's an Indian actor lah. Okay, back to the topic. Suraya, I'm thinking you to understand one thing. Then life, you need to study hard. Because if you don't study hard, you're gonna make everybody's life miserable. Because the teacher's gonna end up changing and changing and changing your place, and the teacher's gonna end up having no life in the end. And these children have better work to do than to find a place for you to sit down. And if you're still gonna get shitty design, you just get out from the school and go work in DBKL. Actually, DBKL also, I think, better than you, like Suraya. You, Suraya, I don't know what to say about you, like girl. Well, parents, see what happens when teachers don't whack your children? They get spoiled, they don't get good results, they become shit. Because in Auntie's era, teachers don't only whack. Teachers swing Auntie around. You know, like that, that, that story that I don't want paper. You have to swing the wheel, spin the wheel around and stuff. Spin the bear and stuff, that's what this teacher did. At this point of age, you need to do the same thing. Otherwise, you would become like Suraya and all your children on, of the other generation and all your nephews and nieces will become like Suraya. So allow the teachers to whack your children and do anything they want with the children. Otherwise, don't complain when your children get shitty result and your children don't get a good career in life because you end up complaining about teachers who punish your children. So please, don't be so stuck up. Have an open mind. They are not abusing your children. They are just punishing them for a better future. And if you can't see that, don't put them in the school. Put them in your house and teach them on your own self. <laughs> Auntie's doing a good job uh, trying to be all, all black and stuff. Auntie think this is Auntie's new talent Aunt, When Auntie gets frustrated, Auntie automatically turns to a black woman You don't want to see that Because this This is just partial Of what Auntie can actually show you You don't want Auntie to show you the full black side of Auntie Because you Won't survive To see the full form Of Auntie's black side and to all of these children, if they ask you why Chong and Daniel cannot be together, you just put that they can be together if you legalize homosexual marriages in Malaysia. Till then, don't ask that question. Because you're not gonna get an answer. Unless you want the answer to be a very racist answer. And you also need to know who has the time to count how many eggs are cracked. Like, what are we farmers? 
We are not farmers, we don't need to count crack eggs. We all need to set better questions for mathematics, like, like what's 26 minus 9? 17! <laughs> You know what, Ministry of Education, I'm thinking it would be really, really unfair if these children don't get the marks you expect, don't get the grades you expect, don't come up to the standard you expect, and Auntie don't think you should ever blame them. Because if the highest authorities themselves can't do maths properly, then what do you expect from the generation these days? If you get what I mean, if you don't, then go find out. Until then, don't ask silly questions in SPM, not just SPM, PTG and UPSR as well, and those STPM and college examinations. You get what I mean? You better, you better, boy, you better. Because if you don't, I know where the knife is coming to. <laughs> You're flying fuck. Goodbye, auntie's children. Do not worry. Do not worry. Auntie will forever be here. And if auntie is not here, you know who will be here. <laughs> the mother of all flying foxes. <laughs> Go <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>